It, it was a great day, really. Um, it's the same as we have in the north, in South Africa, in Botswana, with the two tracks and all the vegetation on the side. And it was easy to be in front with no dust. And I made good navigation today, no mistakes, and made a good uh, rhythm. And I don't know what happened to the other riders, but uh, I had a great day with no risk. And uh, yeah, it's been good. I'm very happy. Better than yesterday, eh? Well, oh, yesterday was... Really, I've had three days of frustration, but, you know, we must, we have to understand that KTM, it's a very big thing for all five to be in the, and obviously there can only be one or two winners, and um, if we have team orders, we have team orders, but today I was, we were allowed to go free because we're in Black Africa, and it's difficult to make a, 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 a people think that the navigation is difficult, and, but today I made perfect navigation, I think they got lost in the one village, and, uh, perfect I've pulled some good minutes today but uh, I think tonight we'll have some new strategy for tomorrow but uh, I had a great day I'm happy happy at last thank goodness to see a smile on his face let's speak to Peggy Lundmark he says, my health is okay, just look at that right eye of his left as you look at him. He says, I have perfect left, but 60% in my right, and my broken nose hurts, but I'm a real Viking, he says. <laughs> He's also got a tummy bug, and his gear selector broke on 30 kilometers. Yes, he's going to make it, and he's going to get a hero's welcome when he gets back to Sweden, you can be sure. Alan Duclos says, in the start today, it was a little difficult. I asked an official how long I got before the start, and I was very surprised when he told me I'd only got three minutes, so no time to install my road book, so I started without it, but no problems. Finished fourth, good for him. And so too, our leader. Well, another special finish, he says, another step towards Dakar. Today was a special to Bamako, we know that. Not so long, quite short, but with a different landscape. So, in fact, we're in the savannah area with more tracks, more dust, more people around, as well as animals and false tracks that can confuse you. He says, look at my position, I have reason to be cheerful, but also careful. Today, there were all the conditions you could possibly have, and problems as well. He says, but I'm not here to take risks. I'm here to make it all the way to Dakar and previously of course he said that stage wins come to you when you're at the limit not this year he says thank you very much with sight gone all hope rests with Mioni and that hope is not misplaced Mioni is in fine form and we'll take it easy as will the rest of the KTMs all the way to the end you can be sure Mioni leading by 21 minutes and 15 seconds it's likely to stay much that way. Still to come, we've got the trucks and a tribute, not a tribute, but a look at Matsuoka the man. Do stay with us. All the way to Bakel. Well, the man with it all to do. Hiroshi Matsuoka. He had a nightmare yesterday. Broken ball joint almost cost him the race lead. Today, he had to start in 29th place, meaning he had 28 drivers ahead of him. He began the task of catching them in earnest early on. Well, it was a supreme performance by the Mitsubishi driver. Sure, the fields were moving out of his way, letting the faster man through, but his skill and determination were there for all to, all to see. His day, not without challenges. Superb stuff, we got to the first checkpoint. He was 10 minutes adrift of Schleser's time. We got to the second control point. It was about the same margin, but by CP3, he was closing. He was five minutes and 26 seconds down. He was back on the leaderboards at the top. Everyone was helping his course. Well, fabulous driving combined with all that. Only six minutes and 28 seconds ahead of his rival Schleser. It had looked dicey early on, but he made it by the end, despite even more problems. Changing tires, when you're keyed up like this, can be a messy business. Another two minutes down. 
It was blowing hot and cold, but mostly hot for Matsuoka. He was heading for what he wanted. To close that gap on Schlesser, by the day's end, it was to be 37 seconds. And the reason? That lady, Jutta Kleinschmidt. She was being caught by Jean-Louis Schlesser. He himself was trying to move past those who were in front of him. Look at the speed, the wheels locking up as he comes to get his time control, the rubber stamp. And then this, 200 kilometers of sheer hell, if you happen to be the man in blue. Kleinschmidt desperately holding him off, it seemed. She claimed she knew nothing about his presence. They were together like this for such a long time, you can't understand how she could have missed him. Dust, sure, but Schlesser, he was incandescent with rage. Kleinschmidt claimed, why on earth should I push too hard on this day? I knew that Sousa, she said, was two hours down with a broken gearbox. No reason to overdo it. She just stayed in front of Schlesser all the way. As for Sousa, well, he handed over his third place on the podium to Kleinschmidt. Broken gearbox it was, he says. We have another suspension problem as well. The rear transaction has gone. And the gearbox, the casing is broken as well. It's a complete nightmare. And by the end, he was over two hours down on the time that he started with at the beginning of the day. So cross-legged and waiting for help. It did arrive, but as we said, it cost him a couple of hours. And that podium place looking likely to belong to Kleinschmidt now. Well, the greenery, welcome sight, as is the water, of course, after all the desert stages. But not much has fallen from the skies, hence the dust. Well, dust has its benefits as well as its evils, of course. Basically, it's a guide for those coming behind to use when you're short on navigation. Just look for the dust plumes and you should be able to find out where the road is. Not that Servia needed that. He today saying it's still a real race in the Dakar. Not being able to do anything to help his teammate Schlesser on this day. Gregoire de Mavius in the Nissan. Six on the stage, despite his troubles, helped out of a ditch. Rejoining the race and enjoying himself. Asking if there's anyone behind him. Presumably worried to see if Matsuoka had caught up with him and wanted to get through. That's the sort of politeness that is generally the case. Not, of course, from Kleinschmidt today with Schlesser behind him. Jean-Pierre Fontenay, no risk today for him. He said he was just staying calm in the very dusty conditions. He said what counts is a victory for Mitsubishi. That's what I'm after. Kurt Leduc, the man who races the Baja, had a good day as well in the Kia. Eighth on the stage, 38th overall. Racing alongside Nicholas Boyer on the Honda. Well, the songs of triumph. Perhaps all from Matsuoka, and boy did he deserve it. As Kleinschmidt perhaps not inclined to do Schlesser any favours today. Schlesser responsible for her 30-minute penalty a week ago after he challenged the result of a navigation stage. She was hardly likely to forgive him. Well, perhaps what you sow you reap. Bruno Sabi in the pro truck. One of those passing through these colourful villages as we leave Ma Mali, heading for Senegal. Henry Poscaro had a decent day, 13th on the stage, 18th overall. And Laurent Borgnon. Enjoying some of the water hazards, as were the locals. Bonyom is a sailor, used to water, handled it well. 16th on the stage, 10th overall, Bruno Lotterie. 
and another Mitsubishi, 19th today. Always nice to catch up with a few back markers. It's not all about the leaders, of course. Just reaching Dakar is an achievement in itself, and what an experience for those who've passed through what has been a very dramatic race, as ever. And so, to those all-important results, it looks like this with Schleser finishing in 3 hours 34, livid, spitting blood, you'll see that in a moment. Matsuoka second, ahead of Jutta Kleinschmidt. Yes, it means Matsuoka will be following Schleser tomorrow. Perfect position for him as far as he's concerned. Matsuoka leads by just 5 minutes and 51 seconds with three stages to go. It could go right down to the Lac Rose. This is an angry man, Jean-Louis Schlesser, not a happy bunny at all, as you can see. He says, you've seen what the problem is, you've seen the TV pictures, the officials will do their job, there's nothing else to say, just look at the pictures, he says. Did you think Utah held you up was the question? He can't believe the question. He says, you've seen her at number 144 kilometer. I was touching her bumper for four kilometers. You must have seen that. It's not sport, he says. The rules exist. One of them says that a driver caught by another who's faster must accept and be overtaken, or he can have a penalty. Well, no news of any penalties so far. Schlesser, of course, is used to the rule book and used to appealing. Well, it seems that the judges are not moving on this one. Jutta Kleinschmidt. She says, well, <laughs> I haven't seen him all day long. Uh, he can say what he wants, but I didn't see him. I just disappear. He says, she said, I can't just disappear into thin air to help him overtake me. The tracks are nice and thin. That's the way it is. She says she knew Sousa was down, so she took it easy. What can I do, she said. I was just doing my own race. If he has a problem, that's his problem. And a problem he most certainly does have. Hiroshi Matsuoka, the winner of the day, really. To try to win. That's all. So me, me and uh, all the team members help me. So we will try. Good man. Try he did. He was superb. Pascal Mamon as his co-driver. He says, well, we were held up as well behind the car for around 40 kilometers. Thought we'd lost it. It's not our fault, but you can't get close enough. You can't see properly in the dust. And it was a very difficult day. We were traveling around 80 kilometers an hour. It was awful, he says. The results pleasing them, though, of course. Yeah, and Thierry Delavan, speaking especially to Eurosport, saying today it was a stage which went into Senegal, just crossed the border. Uh, we're seventh overall in the standings and hope to remain in that position. It's not easy because behind there are a lot of drivers who want to take our place and we'll be trying to fight right until the end to stay in our position. We had a few technical problems today with the real axle, which lost us around 30 minutes. It wasn't too serious, but now we need to stop any further problems. So just focus on reaching the beach on the Lac Rose in Dakar. That's two days away and it'll be difficult. We're now in Senegal and we hope to have a good day tomorrow. All our Senegalese friends are there and they're waiting for us. Again, a short stage tomorrow. It's been a difficult, difficult race this year. We've suffered a lot. As I've done 12 Dakars and I don't remember one being as difficult as this. We'll be very happy indeed to reach the finish in Dakar itself. Vraiment beaucoup souffert. J'en ai, ai fait 12 et euh, j'ai pas mémoire d'avoir fait un Dakar aussi difficile. Donc euh, on sera content d'arriver à Dakar. Very happy indeed, as will the rest of the field. Perhaps Lesser would like a few more stages though before the end arrives. After the break, we'll be back with the day on the bikes and of course the rest of the day's news. Stay with us. The simple words we take for granted. I'll be right back. We're going to have the dead. This year, one man will find the courage to keep that promise. Tom Hanks, Castaway. On the racetrack. Five, four. On the racetrack. On the racetrack.
racetrack. GSX R1000. What Euromaster does for each driver on the Paris-Dakar Rally, Euromaster does for each driver every day of the year in its service centers. Euromaster, what drives us is you. Tires, exhausts, brakes, shocks, batteries, oil, Euromaster. <laughs> The new Mitsubishi Pajero pin-in. Take it off-road. They're back. The men of razor-sharp reflexes. The men of the World Rally Championships. Kicking off the season in Monte Carlo. World Rally Champion Marcus Gronholm will begin his defense of the title, surprisingly as Peugeot's number three. Behind the warm weather specialist Gilles Panizzi and new signing Didier Oriol. The classic Monte Carlo Rally, Friday at 9 on British Eurosport. With Ford. And Valvoline driving the world. 2001 on British Eurosport, a fantastic year of sport. Every month, a different super event and timeless action to quicken the pulse with the superstars of world sport. And with the very latest news and results and interactive on the net, British Eurosport, Eurosport News, Eurosport.co.uk, you've got unlimited access to every sport. 2001 on British Eurosport. Back to the Dakar Rally with Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back. Well, the bike race is proving to be something of a calm affair as we head in the final stages towards Dakar. The riders amongst the most popular with the local community because they're so accessible of course not hidden behind doors in the cars and a relaxed atmosphere amongst the KTM camp the leader Mioni pleased along with the rest of them it seems is to carry on carrying the torch of KTM right until the end BMW had it all their way last year this year it will be KTM's and the man who'll win it is of course likely be Mr. Mioni, despite the best efforts of the BMWs, such as John Deacon. Well, those close to the top of the standings, of course, had to obey team orders and not try and mess things up for Mioni, not make him race too hard, not cause any problems. And that leaves those further down, of course, to enjoy themselves. And Giovanni Sala was one of those who did just that today. scenery beautiful and that the last thing on Salah's mind he was going for the stage win 19th overall allowed to do so coming home on this very long but high-speed day in three hours 38 minutes a long time to be standing up on the pegs of your machine Yes, it's a measure of the athleticism of these riders. You try just standing still for that length of time. The mind's keeping on your toes. 